Bulavanaka and welcome to another episode of the F in Your Pulse. Uh, we've had an extraordinary journey over the past few weeks and today with us in the studio, we have another young man with us who is currently a student at our Derek campus in Samambula. So if you come past Samambula, you see a wonderful campus on the left side of the road coming from Suva. That is where this young man is based and this man is none other than Selwyn Raymond. Hi Selwyn, how are you? I'm doing good, yeah. All right. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? What are you studying and where you're from? How many siblings do you have? What what are your hobbies? Just get, you know, just get to know you better. Sure. Um, um, my name is Selwyn Raymond and um, I currently have two brothers and one sister. And I am taking the course of uh, January, cabinet making January. And yes, this is my first time. All right. In Derek. So when you talk about certificate in cabinet make, making and joinery, so this is a part of our TVET programs, right? So most of our TVET programs, if you didn't know, have a lot of practical, hands-on experience. So you do a lot of practicals on a day-to-day basis. Kind of explains like your whole safety attire eh? from the top to the bottom. Yeah. Now, what inspired you to choose such a program? Because usually when we ask any young person, oh, so what do you want to be? Nobody's going to say, the first thing that comes from the top of their head, oh, I want to do cabinet making or joinery. You'd hear doctors, nurses, engineers, all sort of things. Yeah. So what inspired a young man like you to pick cabinet making and joinery? I just had a thought of, um, you know, like when you had to do something different, just mm. to experience something different. Yeah, that just came out of my head where I just wanted to explore and just see things differently. So I kind of find interested in doing something like that. So yeah, that's that's the whole reason why it inspired me and I wanted to try something new. All right. And how was the reaction of your family when you decided to tell them that? We were quite sho- shocked. <laughs> so like they didn't know that someone in the family were doing some trade trade things like that. And it was my first time, but like I had to at least try something different. And I'm getting there soon. All right. So is it exciting? Yeah, I find it quite exciting, but also challenging at the same time. All right, now talking about like your challenges, what are some of the challenges you face um, in by when you study cabinet making and joinery? When we have to do practicals uh, without the lecturers telling us how to do it. Me, um, more importantly, about uh, finding your own ways of doing it, being creative mostly. Yeah, I kind of find that difficult, but then when you know you make mistakes, they will surely point out the solutions about it. And that's right. what keeps me going and helps me to learn from my mistakes. All right. And how are your lecturers in, in terms of like mentorship? Um, are they always ready to help, easy and approachable, or are they like really strict and, you know, how is that a whole experience? Are they really nice to you? Are they nice people? <laughs> yeah, they are. They are nice. They are approaching. They, are pro- they usually approach us in times where we know that we lack of knowledge and all that. Because they also understand that it's our first time doing that. Mm. And also, they, they are more helpful. They're oh. kind. They share most of their personal experiences with us. Do you have a favorite lecturer? <laughs> Not really, but probably maybe soon. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still looking. You're still yeah. on the hunt for a favorite lecturer. Yeah. All right. How many students are in your class on, an, on a daily basis? So, like, altogether, we have four quarters, and we have just passed two quarters, and this is our third quarter. And we separate into different... Uh, different categories where there's level four certificate and level three. And I'm currently doing level three and there's only two of us while the others are level four in right. January. So s- you just said that there's only two of you. Yeah, there's only so two So w- is it a really quiet classroom? Not really. The, <laughs> well, there's two units where we combine with carpentry students, but uh. the same level as us. Okay. So when you combine yourselves, you said with the carpentry students... Yeah. Um, basically the same skills are taught, but you are experts in two different things. So carpentry yes. is like more general? Mm, not really. They are different than what we do. Okay. So in a day in your life as a student at their campus, what does your schedule usually look like? Um, usually we have uh, more practical rather than lectures because there's only two units where we do that is lectures. For those, I mean... Those out there will get to know it as soon as they come uh, coming towards the industry. All right. And now in terms of, let's say, like you talked about your challenges, what are some of the best parts 
about studying carpentry and joinery or your student life at the Derek campus because from what I can see on social media, the students at our Derek campus have a ball of a time. Like I see your gang's updates. Man, it brings me back to the time when I was young. I'm not that old, but <laughs> you know, it seems very interesting, very happening. So how is student life for you at FNU's Derek campus? It's quite exciting. I mean, as a first year, I'm, I'm really happy, but like at the same time, knowing more people and the experiences that you get to learn and gain from that's the only thing that drives me into learning more about things right so you enjoy meeting new people getting to know their side of the story yeah. um so do you come from a really large friend friend group Not really <laughs> <laughs> all right so your friends are they studying the same program or they're studying different programs at their campus At first yeah we thought that they were studying the same program but then we didn't know that we were going to split so some of us had to go different paths. Okay. And just a question. I mean I'm asking for the ladies in the room. Do a lot of ladies pursue careers in engineering and science at the Derry campus? Yeah. Uh but it all depends on what they choose to believe right. and what they want to do. So are there ladies in the carpentry class as well? Uh yes but not not to mention there's not much in ours. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's I think it's a field where we still have to ba- break the gender barrier, you know, the gender <laughs> stereotypes that are around there. Now, I just wanted to ask you one more thing because it's in my head, it just popped in my head. I just wanted to ask you, is there a special project that you are part of or like a certain, you know, um let's say a project or a certain uh, like How do I put it into words? Like something that you came up with, like you said you have to be creative, that you're super proud of. Mm. Is there anything that you worked on that you're really proud of? Yeah, we not worked on alone, but like with others. Yeah. So like we had this project about uh us having to do uh cabinet and also beds. Oh, so you make beds as well? Yeah. So you're not just limited to cabinet making and tables and chairs but you do beds what else do you make or learn to make uh other things i'm not quite familiar with it oh, so you'll like get there yeah. it's like so but so far you've made cabinets yeah you've done beds have you done shelves and things of that sort they probably the same as uh cabinets i prefer ah uh, all right So in your carpentry class, do you still have to do practicals that the other carpentry students do or do you just stick to your specific? Oh no, we are totally different from this. Oh, that's that's But they quite have the same uh, things that we do. Okay. So they study what you do but yours is more specific towards yeah. Okay, that's nice to know. Now, I wanted to ask you if you had a message to tell to somebody today who's already working in the joinery field, doesn't yeah. have a qualification but they're really good with their hands when it comes to you know it's it's a talent that god has given them yeah. do you think that they should come and pursue this program well it depends like if you know you started from when you were young creative especially some they are born with uh, family members that had that uh, talent and like it's totally up to you as long as you believe what you do mm-hmm. you don't have to rely on others but most importantly is just when you know that you have that skill set just pursue your own careers and dream big. Yeah. Now looking ahead, we'll talk about what do you see for yourself in the future in this field. So that's right after this break. Please stay join with us as we're talking to Selwyn Raymond, who is a student in our certificate 3 in joinery. <laughs> The most anticipated event of the year is back. Fiji National University opens it 2024. Come down and explore our cutting edge facilities, meet our dedicated faculty, and discover how you can turn your aspirations into accomplishments. Dream it, live it, and achieve it with FNU. Stay tuned for more details. Welcome back and in the studio here today at the FNU Pulse we have young Selwyn Raymond who is pursuing his certificate 3 in cabinet making and joinery and we were just talking about what does he envision for his future so in the future where do you think this um course certificate 3 in cabinet making and joinery is going to take you 
Uh, I would just put it in simple terms, uh, quite in the workforce. Mm-hmm. But like as I go further, like I would uh, want to experience more out in the in the environment, the working industry. And yeah, I'd see myself there, but time will tell. All right. Now is just asking, do you want to start your own business? I'm not sure. Like I don't <laughs> want to be fully confident in that, but yeah. like But I do you re- feel like carpentry, joinery, cabinet making, I mean interrelated to each other? Do you think it's there's quite a demand for it in in Fiji? Oh yeah, I heard. Yeah, it's quite a demand. All right. And so for most young people that we know of, it's a career choice that you don't wake up one day and you decide, oh, I'm going to be a carpenter. And so you told me that one thing that motivated you is because you wanted to do something different. Yeah. Right. So did this dream start for you in high school? Nope. (laughs) So what happened? Well, like I said, like I just wanted to take a different path about it. And being out there in the field is makes it quite makes me happy and experiencing something new that I should or that I feel like I should do. All right. So when you were in high school, what did you want to become? If I have to be honest. You can tell us. Yes. It's, it's okay. We we have no judgment. <laughs> if I have to be honest, like I didn't really know. <laughs> all right. So it's fine because when I was in high school, I was all over the place too. And it, I feel like a lot of young people in high school, they often struggle with choosing a career while they're still in high school because you have your family telling you to be something and then yeah. you have your friends telling you to do something. And then you're just sitting there. So what do I really want? And it's very hard to decide. Yes. So when I was in high school, I, I, you know, my family was telling me to become like a doctor, but I knew I liked to talk and I didn't know that there was a specific role for that. <laughs> so like you said... That you um, didn't know what you wanted to do in high school. You yeah. got out. How did you find out about this program? Um, when I started, uh, to be honest, when I started watching videos about it, like it just popped up on my phone and I, I kind of felt interested in it. So oh. I started to explore. And then when I came to this university, I ended up seeing the causes of it. So I was like, why don't I just try something new about it? So that's where I got myself into today. Okay, and then how did you come across uh, FNU's programs on cabinet making and joinery? When I started exploring the co- uh, the courses and just looking through different universities, categories. Yes. yeah, all right. And so you said this is your first year, I believe, right? Yes. Um, how has the experience been like? And are senior students helpful? Uh, not quite, frankly, because everyone uh, just doing their own things yeah. at this point. Yeah. But like overall, the student experience is great, right? Because you meet new people and you, yeah. you know, you get to make new friends. And um, what are some of the long-term goals that you have set for yourself, especially in this field of study? Uh, well, I would uh, say that I'm um, thinking of uh, growing more in this experience and one day seeing myself as a joiner somewhere up there, but like I had to fail in order to succeed. Mm-hmm. and learn more from it right yeah. so it's going to be both ups and downs and yeah. you but you figure it out right like that's how uni life is that's how life is in general <laughs> you have good days you have bad days but you have just got to have a positive spirit now yes. finally i want to ask you a very important question what is one piece of advice that you would give to i'm not gonna say young people to parents whose children want to pursue a career that is like you said a bit different yeah about about that i would uh i would personally say that um sometimes like to just have a conversation with your children Mm -hmm. and to find out about what they think that they want to do in the future don't have to force them to do things that they don't feel like doing but to believe and ask them in order to get what they really think that they want to do and not to mention, I would take this out topic to pray about it. God will determine the steps. That is so true. Now, one thing that I'd like to tell our um, our viewers is that most of our certificate programs do not require you to pass Form 7 or finish high yes. school. So if you have a child that is at home or somebody that you know of, a loved one, who is really good with... Um, woodwork good with carpentry with ca- cabinet making joinery we encourage you to come and join our program um the certificate three in cabinet making and joinery which is offered at our Derek campus in samambula and 
let's see what they can do for themselves, you know, because if you are blessed by God with so much talents, might as well get a certificate as well. So thank you so much, Selwyn, for joining us. We had such a wonderful time talking to you about this super underrated program, <laughs> if, I may, if I may add, Certificate 3 in Cabinet Making and Joinery. Um, stay tuned for more interesting stories, not just from our students, but our academics as well, where we also address hard-hitting issues such as HIV AIDS, mental health, and self-esteem. Vinaka, see you in our next episode.